We're going to check on weather here. Uh, we've obviously been following this tropical storm uh, moment to moment. It has subsided, but we're still seeing the rain and, and yep. winds. Craig, uh, how is it looking the rest of the day through tomorrow? And, and the interesting thing about this is comparing it to that story, obviously a uh, major hurricane versus our tropical storm. But look at the damage that just the tropical storm did uh, across portions of the United States here, the East Coast too, with power outages as well as uh, uh, damage to trees. There was so much flooding up and down the coastline too. So, I mean, the power of these things just can never be underestimated. Keep the umbrella handy today because we still do have the effects of uh, Ophelia out there. More rain, more wind, but not as strong as yesterday, and uh, probably not as heavy a rainfall as yesterday, but there's still some downpours out there, and this will even linger into Monday. We're looking at current wind gusts now, still gusting over uh, 30 miles per hour out in the Hamptons. LaGuardia, New York City area, gusted over 32 miles per hour, and you can see there's a strong winds are still coming in along uh, the uh, area from about 195 on south into New Jersey. That was one of the hardest hit areas, the Jersey Shore, from this so far. And there's more rain that keeps coming up, and it's now starting to get a good portion of Long Island. It's going across the Sound into Connecticut. You're still just a little too far away, Connecticut, uh, you know, for anything really heavy, really stormy. It's just, just not going to be a very nice day the farther north and east you go. But north and west, and across the island, as well as down from the city on south, it just keeps circulating in, and it's going to do that right through the afternoon. So uh, a close-up now of the five boroughs, as well as the island, you can see that there's still some more heavy rain headed up another batch right towards Fire Island. It's been doing that all morning long, moving north, northwest across the Sound and into parts of Connecticut. Let's take it down south now, where we had some of the heaviest rainfall totals right up and down the Garden State Parkway all the way down to Atlantic City and there's still more rain coming in. It's more scattered. It's more showery, but still, there are some downpours, and I wouldn't be surprised if some places pick up a little bit of lightning and thunder during this afternoon as another round comes in as well. That's what's left of Ophelia right there, and uh, you can see the, the counterclockwise circulation just taking everything in off the ocean and bringing it back in and around the storm, and since Ophelia is barely moving, we're just going to have to wait for Ophelia to uh, kind of drain itself out. That's really all it comes down to now because the storm is just going to be sitting there meandering around for the next couple of days. And you'll see that on Futurecast. So now we've got at uh, noontime, we've got some heavy rain, uh, some downpours, <clears throat> excuse me, anywhere around the city as well as portions of New Jersey and into the Hudson Valley and Connecticut and across the Sound into Connecticut. And then you have more rain that continues to make its way on through central sections of New Jersey up into the Hudson Valley and the northern sections of Connecticut. And then you have rain that continues for, this is Sunday at 10 o'clock. This is after dark. It's still raining out there and it is still raining as you get into your morning commute on Monday and some heavy rain showing up here along the Connecticut Turnpike in the NET and down across 80 in New Jersey. So it just doesn't really want to get out of here until it curls its way on out as we get on into uh, the latter part of Monday and on into Tuesday. So with that in mind, we'll finally get some better weather, but rainfall amounts, we still could pick up another one to two and locally up to three. Coastal flooding is still a possibility anywhere along the South Shore and down the Jersey Shore as well. And that's another tropical system out there. That's Philippe, but he's not going to come towards us. He's going to stay out there over the water. So here's your seven day forecast. Temperatures will be in the 60s for the next several days. That is a little bit below average, but finally dry weather with those 60s from midweek on. I think Ophelia just likes it here. She's hanging out. Yes. Yeah. Hanging out like a bad guest. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> taking, taking a long weekend. Yes. Craig, thank you so much, as always, for all your updates this morning. Thank you.